This Independence Day, the family of a Northwest Ohio soldier and farmer who died in 1842 paid special tribute for his service during the Revolutionary War. 13 ABC's Christine Long reports from the ceremony near Fremont, all new at 6. This wasn't only a patriotic family reunion to honor a man who served as one of George Washington's bodyguards. This was also a headstone correction ceremony. You see, for more than a century, there's been a mistake. The wrong name was engraved as his wife. Dozens of descendants of a Sandusky County pioneer and Revolutionary War soldier from the youngest... Happy Independence Day! To the oldest, I uh, thought sure there'd be people older than me here. Gathered this 4th of July at the grave site of John Wagner. They lined up together pulling the rope okay. oh. that unveils their ancestor's updated headstone. I believe it's your great, 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 great grandfather? Uh, great, great, five greats. Family members say Wagner was one of George Washington's bodyguards. They don't have any images of his face, but they've heard the stories and they treasure the heirlooms, including this sword from Washington. Washington said uh, this man is a warrior. Uh, he is not afraid of a thousand devils. So therefore, Washington pretty much kept him by his side during the revolution, um, saved his life several times. He was within 15 feet of George Washington when General Cornwallis uh, surrendered. Today's ceremony also gives long overdue honor to John's wife. Several years ago, the family discovered a discrepancy. Instead of the name Elizabeth Leach, someone messed up and engraved the name of an 11 year old girl. No connection to the family. Her name was Mary Riceley, and her name is the one that went on the tombstone. So, 105 years later, uh, the mistake is finally being corrected. And this is very emotional for me because this is my great grandma, sixth grade, and I'm very, I'm very touched by today's today's presentation. She finally got her place of honor on the stone that she rightly deserves. Reporting from Sandusky County, Christine Long, 13ABC Action News.